Okay, today we are going to do how to punch very, very hard. I think we're going to make a new series drifting away from weight training and kind of incorporating some martial arts into your training as well. So, um, everything from boxing um, to some of the more traditional martial arts that you would find maybe having to do with weapons, wrist manipulation, that kind of stuff. But the bread and butter of fighting really is going to be punching. So, and I found that that if you want to learn how to punch, you go to people who punch all the time, and boxers happen to punch amongst the most powerful punches around. You know, they pretty much can put about a thousand pounds of pressure into their punches. So, there are a lot of different ways to punch. You'll see a lot of people maybe in the Wing Chun system and Kung Fu systems that they uh, they punch center line, and which is if there's nothing. I don't want to say that one's better than another. It's just different. One you'll be able to throw faster punches, but you'll minimize some of your power um, because you're stopping the rotation of your shoulders. You know, some people will disagree, but that's just my opinion. So just similarly, the way that we're going to try to throw right now, we're going to practice throwing a right cross and trying to throw it as hard as you can. Um, it's kind of similar to imagine holding a baseball bat and you want to swing the baseball bat. I'm not standing square to swing the baseball bat. I'm having one foot forward and really movement of the baseball bat starts with my feet, the feet then, move up, then it moves up to my hips and then I extend using my hands. So very similar to this is how you're punching when you throw your right cross. It's not, I'm not throwing with my hand. I'm throwing with my body. The whole thing, it starts with my foot and it's going to move up. And then just as the last moment, my shoulder is going to kick in. So um, a good way to practice this is to get proper range. You're going to touch glove with your left hand and then you'll connect. You see, I still have quite a bit that I can extend. So imagine if this where I'm connecting is a, a piece of glass. And when I connect, when I'm touching here, it's judging the distance, and I'm gonna connect, and I wanna move through that glass. So if I'm in here, here, I wanna move through the punching bag. You might have noticed that I also exhale. You see this in martial art movies all the time. What they do is they're just exhaling, or they yell, they go haya or ki or whatever it is, because it helps tighten the body. Boxers go pss, pss. Anything works, as long as you're tightening. It's not just yelling for the sake of yelling. All right, so, if you, how did you see the, my footwork? Yep. Yeah, okay, and here, your feet are positioned so that, I'm gonna say, just to be safe here, let's say 50-50 most of the time, all right, for right now. And when you start to throw, the weight's gonna to start to come onto your front foot so you can rotate that back foot. The heel's gonna be up so I can rotate. If my heel comes flat, there's no rotation. If I come up on my toe, that's when I'll be able to rotate. That's when I'll be able to kick in my shoulder. Just like when you're swinging a baseball bat, you move your hips, your, your foot comes up. You see golf, they come up here and then that back foot rotates. They don't just keep it down because they wanna be able to use the rest of their body. So same idea with your punches. So I guess a good way to practice this, just as I said, you're gonna measure up here, turn. I didn't come up here. I like to sometimes, I like to sometimes do this, practicing it, it helps. Practicing up here when your posture's up, that's all good. But I kinda, if setting down, like practicing as if you're throwing a body shot, could help generate more power into your punch. So like I like, so hold up the, the pad. But I'm in here, I want to set and in here. Here. And imagine every time you look, this is judging my distance. Once I'm able to know that I can connect here, that means that I'm going to connect but still have a lot to be able to move through with my right hand. Here, I know that I'm good. As soon as I'm able to touch, that means again. 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 Okay, you can throw a lot of power into your right cross, making sure that you judge the distance properly. I sometimes with my students, who drop this, I'll have them drill, focus middle V up, eyes closed. Here, they'll touch it and just boom, go right through it. Again, 
boom, come right through. To be able to throw a right cross off of nothing can be very powerful. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you can clarify anything. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, there's definitely stuff that I've, been le uh, that I've left out, so feel free to leave comments and I'll try to clarify. All right, bye.